Hi, I'm Chef Stevie. Welcome to A Fresh Take. Today we're going to redo macaroni and cheese. I love macaroni and cheese. You know, from the South, very fattening. So I'm going to redo a macaroni and cheese. I still eat the regular stuff sometimes, but this is a healthier one that you can have a little more often. We're going to make squash noodles. You can make this sauce with gluten-free pasta, regular macaroni, a whole grain macaroni. Um, you can use a cheese sauce on the squash noodles if you can do dairy and you just want to watch your carbs. Um, so I have my handy spiralizer here. If you don't have one of these, you can some stores will sell the noodles, the veggie noodles already done, or you can just take a vegetable peeler and just make long, thin strips. Um, I'm using a yellow squash because I want it to be yellow like macaroni, but you could do this with zucchini or any other hard, long vegetable. Um, so I'm just going to make my noodles. You've seen me do this with zucchini for an Alfredo, but I'm using the bigger, the fatter blade. But I want it to look like macaroni, so I'm gonna take my kitchen scissors and I'm just going to snip it into little pieces like that so that it mimics macaroni. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know, just give it a few chops. So now we're going to make our sauce. So I'm going to put in my food processor, I have cashews that I've soaked overnight is best. A couple hours will do the trick. Um, they can get really, really creamy. Um, I'm just going to put those in the food processor along with a little bit of pureed butternut squash. If This was already pureed. If you're putting it in the food processor and it's cooked and it's in chunks, that's fine. Um, you could use acorn squash if you wanted to. You could use cooked carrots even. Just to give it a little extra nutrition and some um, orange color. So it looks like that macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna add a little bit of coconut milk. And then I'm gonna keep the rest of it on standby in case I need a little more liquid. Some lemon juice. I have some seasonings here. I'm using paprika, chili powder, turmeric, again for that yellow color. I have salt and pepper and I have a little bit of cayenne. Just give it a little bit of a kick. And then nutritional yeast. Um, this is not like bread yeast. It's, it's a product that if you're vegan, if you're making this mac and cheese because you're vegan and you don't eat animal products, B12 is one of those things that you have to make sure you try and get into your diet. Nutritional yeast is a really good source of it for you. And it's kind of got a little cheesy aroma and flavor. It's really good to sprinkle on popcorn. So I'm gonna put some of that into the food processor. So then you can just heat up your sauce on the stove and the microwave and the oven. Or if you do cook your noodles, you can um, just add the cold sauce to the hot noodles. And then, so we'll just put your sauce. Another option that you can do after you get your noodles all mixed up with your cheesy sauce Put it in a casserole dish and then get some almond flour or almond meal. And if you don't have any, you can make it in your food processor or blender by just grinding up some almonds, some parsley, some salt, sprinkle it on top like breadcrumbs, and then just bake it in the oven for about 20 minutes. And then you have macaroni and cheese. Mmm, it's creamy. It feels like I'm eating macaroni and cheese. It tastes like I'm eating macaroni and cheese, but it's way healthier. So if you want this recipe and others, just go to chefstevie.com. This has been a fresh take.